Romans chapter 13 verse 12. The word of God says, The night is far gone and the day is near. He says, So let us put off the works of the dark. He said, Amen ourselves with light. Dear child of God, he says, It is time to arm yourself with light, with understanding. It is time to arm yourself with everything you need to combat and have the victories. Dear child of God, your victories is not a question. It is something that is certain. It is a certainty and God will make sure it happens. And he's saying to you, you need all the light that you need to get. He says, the night is far gone, the day is near. So let us put off the works of darkness. Dear child of God, you may have been in the dark for a long time. You may have been in the dark concerning the situation you are going through. Today, God will bring light. Dear child of God, God will bring clarity. God will bring understanding to you in the mighty name of Jesus. You may have had questions, dear child of God, that deserves answers, but none of the answers were forthcoming. Today, I want to assure you, by the help of God, by the grace of God, you will get the light. You will get the understanding that you need in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, the night is almost over. Yes, the word of God says weeping would only endure for the night. Psalms 30 verse 5, you may be going through pains. You may be going through challenges. You may be going through a lot of uncertainties around your life. But today, I want you to know that the night is almost over. And it says the day is near. Say it to yourself. The day of my breakthrough is near. The day of my deliverance is near. The day of my turnaround is near. The day of my upliftment is near. The day of my testimonies is near. Dear child of God, say it to yourself. The day of my overcoming grace and blessings is near and I shall see them. I will testify of them in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, let's therefore put aside the actions of darkness and put on the armor of light. Dear child of God, it says, the armor of light. It is time to arm yourself with knowledge, with understanding. Yes, the light of the word of God. It is a weapon of victory, dear child of God. What has the word of God said to you? What did the Lord say to you? It is time to hold on to them and make sure you run with them. It says, the night is far gone. The night is almost gone and the day is near. Arm yourself with light. Put off the works of darkness. Dear child of God, the light of the world says you shall not die. The light of the world says you will live. Dear child of God, hold on to that. And make sure you embrace it with the whole of your heart. And it doesn't matter what the enemies are saying. The dark words of the enemies, they shall not in any way succeed against your life. The works of darkness, the words of darkness as well that the enemies have said to you. And the enemies are doing against you, dear child of God. They will not be able to succeed because God has armed you with light. And God is making sure the evil doings of the enemies shall be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, the evil works of darkness shall be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, and everything, everything you need in your life to have everything working for you, God will make them available. In the mighty name of Jesus, dear child of God, it is true that there are battles to fight. God is ensuring you that you would have victories. In the mighty name of Jesus, He's saying, put on the old armor, put on the full armor today. Hold on to God. The word of God is a sword. He said it is sharper than every two-edged sword. Dear child of God, it is time you hold on to the word of God and use it to combat the works of darkness and use it to combat everything that darkness has laid upon you. You see, the devil wants you destroyed. He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is his plan. But today, receive the light, knowing that God has said you would have life. Dear child of God, you would have that life in abundance. Hold on to everything that brings you to the place of life and cherish it with the whole of your heart. God has promised to be there for you. God had promised to sustain you. God had promised to help you. God had promised to fight for you. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, He will not in any way go without keeping this word. Dear child of God, He will not in any way allow you to be destroyed. God is saying to you, I'm there to uphold you because the one who is in you is greater than them all. Dear child of God, they may bring their threat, but don't let it get you down. Dear child of God, they may bring their threat to you, but don't let it get you down. Hold on to God. Hold on to the promises of God. 
for God will bring his word to pass. The promises he made unto you, dear child of God, he will make them known. He will make them available. He will give you clarity to them all in the name of Jesus and you shall overcome. You shall testify. You shall testify of the blessings that God has destined and decided to bring your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God in Luke 21 verse 34 says, And take heed to yourself, lest at any time your heart be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that the day come upon you unawares. You say, take heed to yourself, dear child of God. This time you become very careful. This time you pay attention because, yes, the devil is coming with his works to destroy you, but he will not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, lest you become overcharged and overtaken, dear child of God, you shall not be subdued. God has given you the power. God has given you the might. And he's saying you are more than a conqueror. He's saying you are more than an overcomer, dear child of God. He's saying to you, you will tread upon snakes and scorpions, and none of them, none of the works of the enemies shall by any means hurt you, dear child of God. Hold on to what the Lord has told you today. Arm yourself with the light, because in it is your salvation. In it is your deliverance. You see, David had the word of God, and every time he went out there, he would confront the enemies with the word of God, because he knew that there was a saving grace in the world. He armed himself with light. When Jesus was confronted, when Jesus was tempted, when the devil came to stand against Jesus, when the devil came to contend against Jesus, to see that Jesus was brought and to see that Jesus failed, dear child of God, what Jesus used was the light, was the world of the light to overcome the works of the enemies, to overcome the works of darkness. Dear child of God, hold on to the word. Search in the scripture, for in it you would have life, for in it you would have deliverance, and know everything you need for every situation, every solution you need. Dear child of God, they are in the world, and I pray for you, God will give you the light. God will give you the understanding. God will give you the clarity that you need, and without fear, without a doubt, you would overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. He says, the night is far gone, the day is near. Dear child of God, your day has come, your day of upliftment, your day that you will look and say, indeed, God has dealt with everything that was meant to destroy me. Everything, the struggles that the enemies brought on my path to destroy me, rather made me stronger. Dear child of God, this is how God will continually give you victory in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, put off the works of the dark. Dear child of God, if there are anything that will stand against you, if there are anything that the devil would use to manipulate you, make sure you put them off. You see, Jesus will say, the God of this world cometh, but has nothing in me. He says, he finds nothing in me. There is nothing, nothing he would ever use to bring me down. Dear child of God, don't give such room. Don't give such room to the enemy to manipulate you and bring you down. Harm yourself with light. Receive light today. The light to overcome. The light and understanding you need to have victories all the way. Dear child of God, it is settled. And I want to assure you, your victory is settled. Jesus said that you will triumph over them all. And so it will be. Nothing will stop it. Nothing will change it. He said that you have overcome. He said you are more than a conqueror. He said you are more than a victor, dear child of God. Hold on to it. That is the light. Arm yourself with it, for you shall overcome. For you shall be victorious all the way in the mighty name of Jesus. He said it will lead you. It will lead you in the path that you should take. And he said at the end of the day, my God, he says you will come out tall. You will come out stronger. You will come out better than ever, dear child of God. Every time, every time you believe in God, I want to assure you, God shows up. He said, those that trust in me, those that believe in my word, those that have confidence in me, he says they will not be disappointed. Dear child of God, please keep believing in God. Harm yourself with faith. And I want to assure you, you will see yourself making victories all the way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have confidence in God and say to him every day, I know you are my deliverer. I know you are my rescuer. I know you will not allow me to be destroyed. I know you will not allow the enemies to exact their evil upon me. I know you will not let them gloat over me. And dear child of God, so shall it be. They will not exact their evil upon you. They will not gloat over you. 
And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you will testify. You will testify of the victories that the Lord has made available in the mighty name of Jesus. David in Psalms 100 verse 5 says, For the Lord is good, His loving kindness is everlasting, and His faithfulness to all generations. You should know that these blessings is not just for you, but to your generation, to your children, to your children's children's children, everyone connected to you. And it comes from the place of praise and appreciation. Learn to praise God. Learn to thank Him. Learn to say, God, you are good. You are kind. You are wonderful. In all of your ways, you are beautiful. You are excellent. Your graciousness is more than I can imagine. Your faithfulness is ever true. I think of you every day and I find reasons to rejoice. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for your message. Thank you for your love that endures forever. Thank you for not allowing all the things the enemies wanted to do against my life to come to pass. Thank you for not bringing the wishes of my enemies to pass. When you keep saying these things to God, when you keep saying these things to God that you expect to receive in form of thanksgiving, you will see God making sure they remain. You will see God making sure it stays in your life. When you thank Him for the things you expect to get, you will see it come to you. Yes, you are expecting to be married, but you are not married. They are laughing at you. They are mocking you, saying you will not ever get into the house of your spouse. You will not get into your own home. You will not settle. And then you go to God and say, Father, thank you. Thank you for that marriage. I know I've not seen the possibilities of it here, but I'm grateful to you. I'm thankful to you. I know it will happen in due course. I know that you are working something out. I may not see it, but you are doing something. And I will bless you. Yes, in the middle of the storm, I will bless you. I would appreciate you. You will see God working it out. You will see God sending a man your way. You will see God fixing that woman in your location. And before you know it, everything is settled. Before you know it, you have received everything that you wanted to receive in your life. Learn to say thank you to God. Know that all things are working together for your good. Even when you don't understand it. When you don't see it even, say thank you God. Thank you. I appreciate you. I know you are working it out. I know you have settled my house. I know you have settled my home. I know you have settled my business. I know you have settled my mortgage. I know you have settled everything. And you'll see God rising. You'll see God showing up in a massive way. Dear child of God, you should learn to give thanks because this will discomfit the enemies. When they see all the things they are doing against you is not getting at you. Yes, they have been afflicting you. They have been fighting you. They have been troubling your life. And all you do is to say, thank you, God. I appreciate you for all your love. This would throw them off. This would make them confused. And before you know it, they will be at logger head at each other. Dear child of God, that was the secret. They gave thanks to God. They adored God. They worshipped God. And God brought all of the enemies down. God made sure none of them was standing. None of the enemies, none of the evil enemies fighting against them. None of the evil ones standing against them. None of them stood. All of them were brought down. And early in the morning, the scriptures recorded that they went to pack the spoils. They went and took all of the things that was theirs. They went to take the things that God had kept for them. All they did was to praise God. They said, may the Lord be praised for his mercy is unchanging forever. That was all they were saying in 2 Chronicles 20 verse 21. All his goodness endures forever. All his kindness endures forever. They were appreciating God for his gracious and generous love. And God stood for them. God fought for them and brought the enemies down. Dear child of God, this is a secret you should always remember all the days of your life. When you go to God in the face of opposition, when you go to God in the face of the trials and challenges and say to God, you are good, you are faithful, you are ready to deliver me. You are abundance in your love. Yes, in all that you do, you do it in a magnificent way for me. And this is why I praise you. And that moment you will discover that that trouble, that situation will be carried away by God. Because he said in his word that he inhabits in the praises of his people. He lives there. He does everything to dwell there. And the moment you begin to praise him, this is when you will call God into the scene. And what was supposed to be the problem? What was supposed to be the challenges? He would kick each and every one of them off your path. He would make sure that they are not hindering your praise because this is all that he eats. This is what he takes for himself that he finds satisfaction. So anything that will stop you from praising him, God will make sure he takes them off your path. 
because the scripture says that this is what he eat he said the cattle on the thousand hills are ease but he doesn't care about them what he cares about is that worship you bring to him is that praise that you bring that you bring to him so when god sees that something is to hinder that praise when god sees that a situation in front of you is to hinder that worship that he's supposed to receive he would deal with that situation he would make sure nothing is stopping you from bringing that praise to god this is a secret that you should hold on to learn to say thank you to god even in the face of opposition that was why the scripture says that you should not worry you should not allow the heaviness of heart to come to you it says rather in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says with thanksgiving make your request known unto god in philippians 4 verse 6 it says with thanksgiving do not worry do not allow these things to bring you down but rather go to god he said appreciate him he says rather go to god and be thankful to him and that thing that is supposed to cause you to be worrying every day that thing that is supposed to cause you to be down every day will be gone off your path so the enemies will be defeated and discomfited when you know how to praise god and adore him and worship him and appreciate him for all that he has done the things you expect to receive will begin to come to you when you know how to thank God for them, knowing that they will come at the end of the day, even when you don't understand and know how they would come. Dear child of God, even the things that are supposed to cause you to be down, that should cause you to worry, will be gone off your path when you know how to thank God and appreciate Him. Learn to implore this great secret. and You'll see yourself making progress and discomfiting everything that wanted to discomfit you. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord do you well. May the Lord be gracious unto you and cause you to rejoice. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.